Welcome back. Well, uh, the market for now is very quiet, but Grassum has just launched its paint business, as you saw a while back. Um, it's the Aditya Birla Group's flagship company, right? Grassum, which is entering into the paint sector and is pretty much challenging the paint sector oligopoly. We saw uh, Jefferies put out a note where they are negative on names like Asian paints, etc., because they're concerned about the kind of competition that will come through now with the behemoth like the. Uh, Aditya Birla Group entering into this space. But Prakash Divan is joining in to tell us what uh, this could mean for the disruption in the paints market. Uh, Prakash, this is preemptive, right? We are expecting, uh, you know, too much competition to come in and perhaps uh, derail incumbent players like Asian Paints. But if you look at the trajectory of the Asian Paints stock, it has not done anything for investors in the last one year. Do you think this underperformance is something that can continue? So, interestingly, this underperformance has been right from the time Gassim announced its entry into the paint space, right? which was almost about a year uh, and a half back. Now, in, in, what's happening is that Asian Paints has tried to de-risk itself by getting into other revenue streams which are around the home improvement business and not necessarily in the future bank on paints as, as the bread and butter business. I mean, it will continue to be bread and butter, but it's not the mainstay business. There'll be other optionalities also to the revenues. Grassim, on the other hand, uh, seems to be getting ready to be an absolute full-range pan-India player but there's a very interesting thing that, uh, uh, you know, Mr. Birla mentioned in his presentation, Sonia, and that is that the consumption in India currently is just one-third of global averages. Now, if India is to be a growing economy, uh, there is very clear reason to believe that this consumption rate would also improve. So there will be an improvement in the overall market size for paints, and hence the damage to the leaders like Asian paints might not be so severe as severe as Otherwise, it would have happened in a slightly smaller, narrower product range. So, I would believe the correction in Asian Paints is mostly done. Uh, Grassim would have to, of course, take time to build itself in terms of this thing. They have great distribution, great brand, and now good manufacturing and all. But Asian Paints still has its place under the sun in that sense. It's not something which you can uh, very easily expect to, uh, to, to, to slow down dramatically from here on. Okay. Uh, Prakash, what do you think would happen to even the smaller players? Let's put Asian paints apart, but the smaller companies which have more of a rural tier 2, tier 3 strong distribution system, do you think that they will probably get impacted more because of price cutting? The segment that needs to be uh, we need to be worried about. Fortunately, there's not much in the listed space except mm -hmm. for, you know, some uh, some attempt by JSW and all that was done on the paint side. But uh, I believe that is where, you know, the new incumbents like Astral and all who have also ventured into paints, the likes of Indigo Paints, which are trying to uh, expand themselves and become a branded player in the low price or the softer uh, product ranges. I think that's the market segment that will get impacted. Uh, it's not the large ones. It's not the well-positioned ones. Because the first impact that a new player has, which is so well-branded, and remember, they have the huge cement distribution network to rely on. They will not need to invest fresh energies and resources into setting up distribution. They already have Ultratech in every nook and corner of the country. And all that Ultratech does is that puts out boards on Birla Opus now. So that's that's where you know they will get impacted, uh, and and not the larger ones as you rightly said. Let if we leave that aside. You know the problem with Asian paints is apart from the fact that there is this behemoth coming into the space now, it has seen its own slowdown in growth and valuations. Right? I mean, Asian paints is trading at what fifty five times forward. Uh, so do you think, irrespective of whether you know Birla grows to that extent or not? There's still quite a bit of pressure on Asian paints. And as a, uh, as a retail investor, what should you do now? Should you churn out of Asian paints and into some of the other names? I would not do that if I had the choice. Uh, I do agree, valuations have been quite steep. There's always been a premium because it was the pure play paint, uh, uh, you know, trick in town, but now you have something else to kind of bank on. But it's like, you know, I know it's not, uh, it might seem a bit far-fetched in comparison, but it's very similar to a Bharti and a Jio. 
if you were to rely on geo's growth you buy reliance industries right so if you want to uh, rely on if you want to bank on the billa opus growth you are buying grazim which is much more complex than just paints uh, whereas you could buy asian paints if you like the paint sector as a whole so i think it will happen home improvement uh, sonia comes typically the growth comes in with a lag we have seen real estate do so well for the last 18 24 months you'll probably start seeing all of this uh, improving so the slowdown has been primarily because of high input cost low demand and all of those things so that could change and the multiples could still be high uh, if not higher but uh, i i won't i won't exit from an asian when given its uh, great pedigree and and the know how that they have in the in the business that they are in they they've created the segment right they've created the sector so they will continue to reap benefits uh, even now okay so market leaders and that's where the strength probably comes from uh, for prakash when it comes to asian paints uh, vishal gutka who's from philip capital and in fact is at the press conference which is taking place in panipat joins in for a quick take uh, vishal hi welcome to the show uh, well you are really in the heart of the action so give us a sense in terms of uh, you know the launch and your thoughts on asian paints what are you telling your clients now about it yeah hi team um, the good morning uh, so basically we are advising clients to stay away from the paint sector because it is going to turn into hyper competitive phase now uh, we don't know stay we don't know uh, in the recent press conference of grasem uh mr billa did not give out a clear strategy with regards to pricing what are they going to do on the pricing front uh, with regards to terms of trade to the margin uh, but is highly likely with the amount of capex that company has put in of 10000 crore uh, they are going to be very very disruptive in all the parameters of trade okay a quick a comment on the stock prices grasim is at 2150 uh, vishal your view over there and asian paints has been under pressure for a while so thoughts Yeah, so we believe that stocks, uh, Asian is already trading at very rich valuations. They're trading at 50 times FI20 weeks earnings, uh, and plus more and above this and the risk-related disruption. So I think uh, stock could remain sideways in the best-case scenario. In the worst-case scenario, I think there's a chance if the Birla becomes very, very aggressive in terms of gaining market share, and even after spending good amount of money, uh, they are not able to gain. They could go into hyper-competitive mode. So that could disrupt the existing distributional model what the companies are running through the business. Okay, all right. Those points will be taken quite closely, Vishal, as well as uh, Prakash. Thank you very much for joining in and giving us your take on the big launch by Grasim in the paint segment. They've invested over ten thousand odd crores. They've launched three plants today. They have additional plants coming up in the next couple of quarters as well. We'll take a break. Come back with more. Stay tuned.